What's up guys? It's your girl Jackie Ina, queen of get ready with me's. We're gonna be starting our day together. So get your butt out of bed and go eat breakfast, okay? I always eat breakfast. Some people are like, I can't eat breakfast, not me. Not I, said the cat. I have to eat every single morning. These are non-dairy vegan waffles. <laughs> I'm like vegan adjacent. And chicken sausage and scrambled egg whites. Gotta eat a hearty meal. And then I'm gonna jump into my skincare. But first, I'm gonna brush my teeth. This is my favorite toothpaste, the Arm & Hammer with baking soda. I'm gonna put some messy Real Housewives on. This is like season four of Orange County. And then I'm gonna brush my tongue. Please, guys, I'm tired of looking at people's gray and white tongues. Please brush them, okay? And this is my electronic toothbrush. I'm going in. Then I'm gonna wash my face. This is the Soy Face Cleanser. This cleanser is so bomb. If you have oily combination skin, if you have acne prone skin, if you need something lightweight. I only use this cleanser when I'm not wearing makeup though, cause it's so gentle. And then I usually try to exfoliate like four to five times a week. This is a chemical exfoliant, the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. Amazing if you have hyperpigmentation, acne prone skin, it's awesome, way better than physical exfoliants. Just take my word for it and trust me. And now I'm rinsing this off and I'm getting my hair out the way because we're gonna really go in in just a second. Now I got this mask from Fresh and I'm gonna be very honest with you, it's incredible. Please don't Google the price, it's very expensive. It's a really good mask, but you do not need to use this mask. I'm only using this, one, because I have it, period. Make sure that after you exfoliate, you use something that is really moisturizing and nourishing. Now I'm dry brushing. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of dry brushing, but I recently started incorporating this into my pamper routine. Bomb, okay? If you have dry skin, it's really good for exfoliating. It's also supposed to drain the lymphatic fluids all throughout the body and reduce like bloating and water weight. It's a specific technique, sorry, specific technique that you do all over the body. And you don't just br you don't just like actually brush your body. Like there's an actual technique. Just Google it, look it up on YouTube. But anyway, I'm doing this all over the body and my skin after doing this feels incredible. I don't know if it does anything for fluids just yet. It's too soon to tell, but oh my God. I, I wish I could do this every day. I really do. Now it's time to jump into the shower. I like to use my little exfoliating gloves because I exfoliate, I mean, you should exfoliate every day. And please wash your legs, okay? If you watched this before you got in the shower today and you didn't plan on washing your legs, I'm here to tell you you should. Full shade, thank you. So I'm just washing up and I like to take advantage of the steam when I'm wearing my natural hair because it makes my puff even bigger. So yeah, just get that body right. And yes, I washed my legs, you just didn't see it. I'm not gonna show you that. The hell kind of video you think this is? Okay, that's my Savage X Fenty robe. Now I'm finally rinsing off my mask with a hot rag, a nice hot rag. Oh, that feels so good, oh my God. And don't forget to clean them ears too. Behind also with alcohol pads, mm-hmm. And wash your legs. Now I'm gonna take this Bite Beauty Agave Lip Scrub, which <laughs> tastes so bomb, by the way, but you didn't hear that from me. No, it really does taste good, though. <laughs> I'm so tired of not admitting it to, like, I do low-key be eating it. But I'm gonna wipe it off and finish the rest of my skincare and also drink water, because that's important. Um, oh, just kidding. I forgot I'm gonna finish my hair. I like to do my hair first while I finish my skin. This is a kind of like a thickifying foam, thickening foam, thickifying, a thickening foam. And because I do wash and goes, I like to use this spritz from Kinky Curly. It's basically like a hair serum, something that I use to like rejuge and make sure your hair look really shiny. So I just, you know, like I have to style my hair every day when I do, I, th I do have to style my hair every day when I do wash and goes, but this is kind of the way that I rejudge and refresh in the hair. Thickening the foam and the serum. And then I'll do my edges like I'm supposed to do. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my God, the one day I didn't do my edges in a video, people were saying I look like a mess. Like how mean, how rude. Not every day lay edges says like calm down. Like I literally don't do this every day. So don't be judging. 
Okay, now I'm gonna use the Pixi Rose Tonic. This is a very gentle, non-exfoliating toner. Because we used the microfoliant earlier from Dermalogica, you wanna make sure you don't follow with any acne medications or any other exfoliants that are gonna be harsh on the skin. And also, don't forget about your chest and your neck. I'm always applying product there. After that, I'm gonna take this facial treatment essence from SK2. I like this for moisture. And my hyaluronic acid serum. I get this from my esthetician. It's the best hyaluronic acid serum I have, period. Amazing for oil control, amazing for oil control. I'm gonna follow up with some eye cream. This one's from Biosance. I just use a little bit at a time. You don't gotta use this though. I think this is kind of expensive. Make sure you use like no more than two pumps of this Murad serum because I like it, but if you put on too much, it does pill. It doesn't work well with other serums. Like it starts to break up and it's really annoying. So just use a little bit. Two pumps, max, and you Gucci. Then always wear SPF, guys, especially because we exfoliated, okay? I'm clocking you. Always, always, always wear SPF after you exfoliate, no matter what. I can't get Botox, so I have to actually wear deodorant under my arms now. After that, um, as you can see, I do have some back knee, and it's fine, you know? I'm definitely not perfect. So what I'm doing lately is I'm applying retinol on my back. I told you guys I can reach my whole back. Look, I can get all up on there. I'm, I'm flexible. Oh, and then definitely wear lotion. I saw a Twitter poll a couple weeks ago that asked if people still wear lotion even though they're at home. Okay, wear lotion. All right, thank you. I'm gonna throw on some fragrance. This is the Sol de Janeiro body spray and some Eau de Toilette from Fresh. Oh, Fresh Cream smells so good. It smells like a baking factory. After that, it's time for makeup. I'm not going anywhere. This is just a light everyday face. First, I'm gonna judge the skin, refresh her with some facial mist from MAC and then apply this primer from NARS. And then after I apply the primer, I'm gonna set it with translucent powder. Even when I'm not going anywhere, I just have to do this. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it's really good for oily skin. And then I'm gonna use this glow, like, I don't know what you would call it, like, I don't know, glow lotion or something from NARS. It's really good, I like applying, I like highlighting under foundation. This is also sheer glow from NARS, my favorite foundation for warm, light beats. Now I'm concealing. I'm pretty sure that was Auntie Pat's concealer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was. Now, if you see me use the fan, it's because drying down your concealers works bomb when you want more coverage and if you want a little bit more of a flawless concealer look. I always take my fan and let my concealers dry down a little bit and then I blend them out. Perfection. Ask your friends. I'm pretty sure they've tried it. If they haven't tried it, then they're not your friends. Your friends aren't your friends if they're not subscribed to Jackie Aina. Like, come on, tell them to get with the good, get with the winning team. And after that, tell them to set their concealer with powder. Now I'm gonna bronze using my Fenty Powder Bronzer, not cream, they can keep that. But this is the powder bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty. And then I'm throwing on my brows. This is the Oma Beauty Brow Pencil and the ABH. Brow powder. I can't believe I didn't use brow powder for years. Like, what the hell was wrong with me? What did I think I was? But yeah, this is my favorite brow duo at the moment. Now, this is just a really light, simple beat. Usually, I'll just throw some bronzer into the crease of my eyes. I'll put on a really petal pink blush. I'll highlight all over the skin, the cheeks, the temples, the eyes. Like I'm literally using one product in five places today because this is just a really simple light beat. We always add an inner corner highlight and then I'm gonna set the skin with the mist one more time and then throw on some Fenty Gloss Balm and that's pretty much my everyday makeup face. Like it's really simple, really cute. And then after I finish my makeup, I finalize my hair, I take out my little silk rag and I redo my puff. And then what I start to do is I'll pull little like hairs one at a time out of the ponytail so I get like little tendrils sticking out of the puff. Like, I don't know, it just looks very like 90s ethereal and I don't know, it just makes me feel like a little glam fairy. Like it just feels really feminine, really girly. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.